the various... Good evening, you all. You're listening to Hot 88.7 Hip Hop from the Hilltop. This is DJ Jules. And upstairs we have DJ Sly Ride taking calls from 7 to 9 p.m. Justice to the judges like a Soledad brother. Picture me falling. Leonardo's last supper now. I was the DJ of the Holiday of the Hood Calls from Home show for eight years. And one night we got a call from a woman whose brother was incarcerated at Red Onion. And she just asked, would it be possible for her to go on the air and and send a message out to him directly? I said, yes, absolutely. That would be amazing. Hi, welcome to Calls from Home. This is Sylvia. Would you like to leave a message tonight? Okay, great. And you've called here before, right? Calls from Home is a weekly radio show that sends messages and shout outs to people incarcerated in the prison system in central Appalachia. Hi ma'am, are you still there? To me, I mean, this show is reaching an audience that we have here in the mountains that needs to be served to make it possible for for families to communicate even though they are separated by massive distances. Where are you calling tonight? I'm calling from um, Illinois. Uh Uh-huh. And um, my husband, he's actually in the federal penitentiary in Kentucky. It's this devastating position to be in because you feel the sort of awkwardness of it being this one-sided phone conversation where I know that um, the reason it's this awkward one-sided conversation is because I'm I'm the wrong person on the other side of the phone. It shouldn't be me. It should be whoever they're calling. Hey, man, I'm just... I'm just overwhelmed right now, man. I miss you, big dog. Keep your head up, man. All that. Love you, man. Hi, this is a shout-out to Michael Dennis Austin at Red Onion State Prison. This is your mom. I'm calling to let you know that you're a new uncle of Lem Dennis Mitchell Austin. You're the man that touches my heart. You're there to always listen and reassure me and protect me. And you're my love and my best friend. I mean, of course, the calls that are always the hardest are the kids calling in. Um, That I had a a little girl call in and um, sing her dad the ABCs on the radio show because she just learned them and she wanted him to know that she could sing them. Hearing the voice of someone's five-year-old calling to tell them goodnight really alters whatever you've been told about who is locked up. Hi, Uncle Frankie. Uh, I really miss you. This is Sarah, your niece. I just want you out of prison, and I want to see you. I mean, I, I don't even really know you. All I can do is just hear you on the phone or something. I don't know what to say. I would like to give a shout-out to my pops, Yaya. We got four days of school left. Looking forward to this. All my grades are up. But we love and miss you. Can't wait to see you. I mean, I need to see you in person because I ain't seen you in person yet, but hold on. Here's Alexiana real quick. I can't wait until I be a grown-up so you can come and see me every day, and I love you. Often the show is is mostly, um, you know, family members calling in to give updates on their lives and say hello and um, provide hope and inspiration and um, but woven throughout that is also the political work um, being done against mass incarceration. Peace brothers, it's Mac, your comrade, brother and friend. As always I send my love and respect to all of you who are currently forced to endure the inhumane living conditions at Red Onion and Wallace Ridge State Prisons. As a previous captive of these two human warehouses and a victim of much of the abusive practices taking place there, I totally understand the intensity of the repression each of you are forced to live with on a daily basis. When it comes from the oppressed, when it comes from those in these dungeons that the United States had placed in such way out locations that they are really off everyone's radar, and yet prisoners, these human beings, find ways to raise their voices to say, hey, we can do better than this. Reach out to us. To me, the real work of this show and what makes it the success that it is, 
is the organizing that happens um, done by the people inside prison that share the phone number to the radio show, that uh, write home and tell people when to call in. They're the ones that are doing the work that makes this show happen. To me, so much of the beauty of this show is how simple the technology is that makes it happen. Any station that has a prison within its signal radius could, could make a show like ours. Yeah, well, thanks for calling in, and we're here every week, so uh, keep calling. You ready to go?